The Slender Man is a fictional character said to be created on the Something Awful online forums. The Slender Man character is extremely tall and thin with a featureless white face and head. He wears a black suit and at times is depicted with tentacles growing out of its back. There are myths that the Slender Man can cause coughing and paranoid behaviors, as well as causing amnesia, and is said to stalk children in the forest. Unfortunately, this fictional character influenced two young girls to try and murder their friend. May 31st, 2004. Peyton Littner, age 12, crawled to a road after having been stabbed 19 times by her so-called friends, Anissa Weir and Morgan Geyser. They were apparently attempting to represent the fictional character Slenderman. Anissa and Morgan lured Peyton to a nearby forest to play a game of hide-and-seek. They then held her down and began stabbing Peyton with a kitchen knife in the legs, the arms, the torso, and they continued over and over again, stabbing Peyton. Anissa and Morgan told Peyton they were going to get help but never return. Peyton found her strength and dragged her body until she found a road and laid there. A cyclist named Greg Steinberg happened to be cycling in the area and came down the road where Peyton was found laying on the ground profusely bleeding. Greg rushed to Peyton and then called 911. The call went as follows. Greg, she said she can take shallow breaths. She's alert. Dispatch, just let me know if she's remaining conscious or not, okay? Dispatch, does she have blood on her? Can you see her stab wounds? Greg, I don't know if I should be rolling her over or checking her or not. Greg to Peyton, they'll be here any minute. Somebody to help you. Who did that to you? Or don't you want to talk? Okay, it's better not to talk. Then we won't talk. Save your energy. Dispatch. Did you see the attacker or attackers? Greg. No. Dispatch. Let me know immediately if you see anything suspicious in the area. A car. A person. The call ends when the police arrive. Emergency services quickly transported Peyton to the hospital where after a thorough review and emergency operation, the doctors revealed that two of the wounds were near major organs. One just missed a major heart artery and another through her diaphragm that cut into the liver and stomach. Peyton was in the hospital for seven days and made a good recovery returning to school the upcoming school year. The two girls responsible for the attempted murder attack on their friend were found just about five miles from the scene walking on the road. They apparently had the knife that was used in the bag they were carrying. According to investigators, the girls' original plan was that during a sleepover, they planned to duct tape Peyton's mouth while she was sleeping, cover in a blanket so it looked like she was sleeping, then run away to Slender Man's mansion. But they changed their minds. Instead, they decided to lure her to a nearby forest and stab her, but neither girl could bring herself to do the stabbing. At some point, one girl pushed Peyton down and sat on her so she couldn't move. Then the girls traded the knife back and forth. One of them began stabbing her. Anissa and Morgan were both charged as adults with first-degree attempted murder. Anissa pleaded guilty to attempted second-degree homicide, but a jury found her not guilty by mental disease or defect. The final sentence was 25 years to life in a state psychiatric institute. Morgan accepted a plea deal so she would not go to trial, but would be evaluated by a psychiatrist and placed in a mental hospital. She later pleaded guilty but was found not guilty by reason of mental disease or defect and was diagnosed with schizophrenia, which her father also has. The final sentence was 40 years to life in a state psychiatric institute. Slender Man creator Eric Knudsen said, I am deeply saddened by the tragedy in Wisconsin and my heart goes out to the families of those affected by this terrible act. The Slender Man stabbing case was an extremely unfortunate situation. But fortunately, Peyton was strong enough to survive and continue life.